Hey, what's up you guys? Guinea Piggies Designs here and today I am bringing you episode 14 of where I'm sewing things for my guinea pig cage. But real quick, for those of you who are new, my name is Brittany. I basically just sew things for your small animals and I do other random things. And what I've been doing lately is this new series where I am just sewing cage sets for my guinea pig cage. So I'm taking you guys step by step of how I would complete a couple of cage sets for my cage. But anyways, in today's video, I am going to be working on these items here. This is what I finished today. So um, this video, I basically am doing a lot of cutting. I did sew some of the cubes over there, but basically I cut around all the cage liners and the fleece for us and the foam tunnels. So that's the main thing I did in this video today. And also, if anybody was wondering where I got anything that I used in this video, Make sure you check down below in the description because I will have everything linked there. Because if you guys want to see how I started sewing the items I just showed you, go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to first start out working on the couch. So here I am just trimming the excess off of the arms. And then I'm going to move on to the circles that I am going to sew around the arms. So for the circles, I do like to trim these down to around three to a four inch diameter. And then I'm gonna take my small clips and I'm going to clip the circle around one of the ends of the arms. And then I'm gonna sew around that piece, trying to get as close to the edge as I can. So I'm leaving about a 0.5 inch inseam on this. And then I am going to repeat the same thing for the second arm. Now I am pulling the arms right side out and then what I'm going to do is start attaching them to the back and front pieces. So for this I'm going to lay down my fleece good side facing me and then I'm going to lay the arms on the bottom making sure that bottom seam is lining up to the bottom of the couch if that makes sense. And you want to make sure the arms are facing in and then I'm going to put the back piece on top making sure that the bad side is facing me and then I'm going to sew all the way around it and then once I'm done sewing around it I'm going to trim off the excess around it and then I'm going to turn that right side out. last thing I'm going to do with the couches for now is I'm going to trim around the pillows. I have two pillows and then I'm going to trim around the two potty pads. Now I'm working on the one by one fleece for us. Now I'm making two of these, but all I'm doing here is I'm just cutting around the edges, trying to get as close to the seam as I can. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing to the second one. And then I'm gonna move on to the two by one fleece for us. So for those, I am making two of those. And all I'm doing again is cutting around the edges. So I'm gonna do that with both of the two by one fleece for us also.
Now I am moving on to the one by one cage liners. So for this part, I am making eight of them. So all I'm doing is trimming around the edges of all eight one by one cage liners. Moving on to the 2x1 cage liners and I am making four of those and all I'm doing here is again I'm just trimming around the edges of all four 2x1 cage liners. on the 2x4 cage liners and I am making four of those so again just repeating the same process I'm just going to cut around the edges of all four 2x4 cage liners.
into the fleece cubes. So for this part, I'm making two fleece cubes. So what I do here is for the first cube, I'm just going to trim around the excess of both of the removable potty pads. And then I'm gonna start adding the seams to the outside pieces, the pieces that have the foam in them. So when I add the seams to the outside pieces, I'm gonna use the wavy stitch and I'm gonna sew along each edge leaving around a two inch inseam. And I'm gonna repeat that for all six sides. And then I'm gonna move on to the second fleece cube. And for that cube, I am just gonna repeat the same process over again.
the last things I'm working on in this video are going to be the two fleece foam tunnels. So for this part, all I'm doing is I'm going to trim around the two removable potty pads. And then I'm going to trim around the bottom piece. And then I'm going to trim around the top piece of the foam tunnel. And then I am making two of them, so I'm going to repeat the same process one more time. So here are the cage liners, foam tunnels, cubes, the fleece forest. So that's what I worked on today and then in my next video I am probably gonna go back through this pile and start turning everything right side out if that makes sense. And then I'm probably gonna start sewing some of the cubes a little bit more. But basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to finish everything around the same time. So I'm kind of like trying to keep everything to where I'll somewhat finish it around the same time, if that makes sense. And yeah, but if you guys are still liking this series, make sure you give this video a like. And then if you guys do want to see more videos from me, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye!